In today's daily shower, where is that snow? We're going to be chatting about that. This is a picture from Keystone Resort in Colorado. Snow gun testing quite a while back, but they were running the guns over the last couple of nights. So we got to find some snowfall, natural snowfall, but they're making it in some of the Colorado Rockies getting ready for ski season. In this daily shower, and again, Matt Makins here. Thanks for joining me. As always, like, subscribe right down here. That feedback is critical. Let's get into the daily shower today. And we're going to be chatting about where is the snow? Where's the state of the snowpack, if you will? We're going to be talking about more frost and freeze. We're going to be talking about wind-related hazards, fire dangers in other parts of the country, and the threats on the way include heavy rain fall in addition to what we just outlined. So let's get started. In general terms, the threats on the way pretty much got to watch for wind a lot around Alaska, especially uh, down through the Aleutians. Got to watch out for heavy precip combo of rain and snow from Alaska into British Columbia. Snow, even snow squally weather has spread from the Yukon into the Northwest Territories and sections of Manitoba. Strong winds in the Northern Plains states of the U.S. Heavy precip in Northern Mexico and Southern U.S. The temperature change there for Central Eastern parts of the country. United States, that is, and heavy precip up toward the New England states. Okay, let's get started with where the heaviest rainfall will be. That's going to be southern sections of the states, as well as extreme northeastern states. This will include parts of Quebec, as well as the Maritimes. As far as southern states, so the rainfall cutoff is kind of like Santa Fe, Albuquerque, Amarillo, and Oklahoma City. Get south of there, that's when you're going to find some of the higher totals. There's a bullseye right there. Austin, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, Houston, south of, down into northern Mexico. We're going to be looking at three inches, if not more than that. Quite a bit of rainfall there. Let's scoot the map and head toward the New England states. We have Buffalo, Syracuse, Burlington. Here's Quebec and Ottawa, North Bay. These areas and northward will be around two and a half to three inches, upwards of four to fives in some cases. Although central and northwestern U.S. mostly dry for the horizon. All right, chatting about the below normal temperatures. This is going to be the 17th into the 18th here, stretching from Colorado out toward uh, West Virginia. And within this area, more frost and freeze conditions are possible. This is a potential frost and freeze areas on the map. Does include sections of New Mexico, Arizona, off into California. So we're seeing some isolated frost and freezing conditions. But the widespread stuff is from the northern Rockies out across the Ohio Valley, kind of wrapping up, trying to get into New England. That's throughout the course of the week ahead. Other issues across the country, we have very strong winds over the northern plains down into the central plains, and with this wind event, we're watching out for fire dangers to be increased. So fire weather watches are also in place, red flag warnings all going along with the gusty winds that are through here. This is part of a cold front that's driving through, keeping areas frosty, frozen, as we talked about previously. All right, and across North America, pretty much cover the U.S. with some of the hazards, but snowfall up to the north, in fact, even impacting the U.S., where is the snow so far this season? Let's break it down. I pulled the data down through the 10th of October, showing you what would be kind of average over the last decade plus, about 15 years worth, uh, of where would the snow be? And that's colorized here in white, and also the ice is included too. Let's look at where we are in 2022. Much different situation. Let's put them side by side so it's easier to compare. So here's your average since 2006. We'd have a, a, quite a bit of snowfall there in Alaska already with snowpack down through British Columbia, down through the Canadian Rockies into the U.S. Rockies, the American Rockies there. What about this year? You don't see that same area highlighted here. See, on average, we'd have much more snowpack, but we don't have it yet this year. We're starting to build that in the northern Rockies. Now, since I pulled the data for these maps. Some of the Yukon and the Northwestern Territories have a swath of snowfall in here. So it is building, but gradually this year. It's a bit behind the eight ball, if you will. Let's watch snow as we go through the next couple of weeks. So this is just showing you a colorized map version of where the snow depth will be increasing as we go through the next two weeks. And again, there's your timeline. We're going through the 19th, 20th now of October, and we're seeing quite a bit of snowfall for northern Canada, the Yukon, Northwest Territories, at times sneaking down into Manitoba and Ontario, and at times watch here as we'll go through the animation again. Watch from the some of the Canadian Rockies here, British Columbia and Alberta. Watch as we get in here for 25th, 
26th, 27th, 28th. We start to bring some snowfall down into the American Rockies, even the Central Rockies around Colorado. So outside of some hit and miss snowfall in the highest peaks here in the U.S., we have to wait for quite a while, another couple weeks in some cases, to see snowfall increasing here in the States. But it is already increasing in Canada. And remember, we're not too far off the eight ball. I said we're behind the eight ball. We're not too far off of it. Here's the average first date of snowfall across North America. And as you get into the U.S., some of these purple dots here into the Rockies, that would be in October. So we're still there. In some cases, we're not threatening that latest first snowfall date. Uh, but it does bear watching. Let's see. Fingers crossed if you're a snow lover that we get that snowfall coming into the U.S. again in a couple of weeks or so. And finally, tropical weather season does continue. As you look at the global map, where are we likely or most likely to see some tropical cyclone development? That would be for South Asia, Southeast Asia, just off the coast of Mexico, as well as kind of the Caribbean sneaking out into the Atlantic. Those would be the most likely areas to see some tropical storm development tropical cyclone development, I should say, with potential impacts on North America, as well as Asia, Japan, sneaking on up toward Alaska. It's that time of the year where I'll watch those typhoons there in the West Pacific as they'll get wrapped up into the storm flow and impact Alaska and then Canada and then the U.S. Nothing imminent in that department just yet. Again, the daily shower is grabbing our attention. What are those weather headlines coming our way? Thank you, as always, for building the weather community we have here on my channel. Please like, subscribe, hit the little bell notifier, and we'll keep you posted. Until the next time, I'm Matt Makins.